All right, coming up next, it's a bantamweight clash between the California kid, Uriah Faber, and Dominic Cruz. All right, so here's the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Dominic Cruz. Injuries, of course, DC have been a huge part of the narrative. Unable to compete in 2012, 2013, 2015, 2017. Didn't fight in 2018. He is back tonight, and he believes he is ready to present the best version today. And when you talk about Dominic Cruz, you expect it, because even when he's away, you know that he's preparing himself to give you the best version of himself. His series with Uriah Faber, The Bad Blood, is something that we will always look back to whenever we think of his career. But it's those big moments, those bright, shining moments, the win over TJ Dillashaw after being away for years to reclaim the title. Those moments are the ones that will always stand out the most when you think about Dominic Cruz. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Dominic, the Dominator Cruz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 35 wins, 11 losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, the California Kid, Uriah Faber! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself thinking this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Faber gets caught with that punch. Got to show up the defense here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the champion. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice kick to the body there for Faber. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Nice job by Faber defensively there. Huge block there. 
Looking to land the right just out of range. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Nice kick with the right hand. Outstanding kick there by Faber. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Dominic Cruz. Faber gets caught. He He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's out for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Cruz is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Faber's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Cruz. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Side control now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Dominic Cruz. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be going. He's got to drop his hip, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Round two underway. Oh, huge block! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right single collar tie now. Great punch. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. And they sell. Oh, oh perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Knee to the body. A little single collar tie there. Right hand punch to the clinch. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Faber. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That was not him. Nice fight. Liver kick. Well, the numbers continue to pile up here. 56 total strikes have now landed for the all-time great Dominic Cruz. Well, you got to say this fighter has picked their spots well tonight, DC, landing with 61% accuracy against Dominic Cruz. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. How about that chin? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, and there's... Hey! Finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, trying to pass here. As Grover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping him in full guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Final seconds. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand. And a beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Left hand is true, that will absolutely work. He throws it like a pimp back and forth and landed that beautiful left hand. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You can see him now starting to gain pockets and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. Well, he's certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land. Oh. Trip right there to get the takedown out of the clinch. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Faber's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Cruz. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Faber. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost part in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. Showing the winner by unanimous decision, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. Well, he 
did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight. 